Welcome to the live show on the internet. Urban, Dr. Yeah, yeah. We got a wild and crazy show for you tonight. Yes, we do. We're going to jump right into it. An operator 7214, what is the location of your emergency? All right, you need police fire or ambulance? I need an ambulance. Tell me exactly what happened. Um, My boyfriend, he's been asleep on the couch um, since this morning. Well, he never came to bed last night. Sleep on the couch. I left him on the couch before, before I took my son to school this morning, put a blanket over him, and now I just checked on him again because he never got up. I don't feel a heartbeat. I don't see him breathing. And you said, hold on, you said on the couch and what happened? I said I put a cover over him because he gets a little cool in the piece in the living room. And now I just checked on him because I see he never got up. And I don't see him breathing. I don't feel a heartbeat or anything, and I turned him over. I see he kind of foamed at the mouth. I'm sorry, are you saying he's not breathing? Is that correct? I'm not hearing you. Yes, yes. Okay, ma'am. Um, if there's yes. a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Is there a what? If there's a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Um, okay, I'm sending the paramedics to help you now. Stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Okay. I need to know about how old um, he is. He's um, 34. Okay, are you right by, by him now? Yes. Okay, please put your phone on speaker so your hands are free to help. Can I add his dad to the call? He's trying to call me back because I called him first before I called you. Okay, so we need to help. We need to help your boyfriend now. Okay, listen carefully. Lay him flat on his back on the floor and remove anything under his head. He is not waking up. Quick. Ma'am? Yes? Okay, you gotta get him to the floor. Lay him flat on his back on the floor and remove anything under his head. Flat on his back on the floor? Yes, ma'am. Help me. He's not here. This pain is unbearable. The love you all have shown is an overflow. I truly appreciate everyone who's reached out. I'm traumatized from a moment that'll forever be in my head. I have nothing to prove because my love for my other half was always shown. I had nothing to hide. Please respect me and the family at this time. Our house is no longer a home. I'm completely heartbroken. 15 years gone. I'll never be the same. This is a complete nightmare. To the 911 operator, who the hell gonna have a defibrillator laying around their house? I better order one for Amazon. <laughs> yeah, that would it look like. We all should order one for Amazon because that's exactly what they gonna ask you if something happened to you. They gonna ask whoever calling, do they have a defibrillator? Unfortunately, it wasn't one laying around. Rich homie girlfriend didn't know what the hell a defibrillator is. For the ones who don't know, it's a device that sends electricity current to the heart to restore a normal heartbeat. You see what I'm saying? But uh, to me, that was like a, a, a question that shouldn't have been asked. Where was the urgency? Where was the urgency from the 911 operator? And where was the urgency, the sense of urgency from the girlfriend who was calling? Like to me, she should have been screaming. She should have been crying. The operator should have been telling her to calm down so she can understand what she's trying to say. But she wasn't acting like that. She was acting normal. She was acting nonchalant. You see what I'm saying? His father was calling in on the other line. She was trying to answer the father call and jeopardizing, dropping the call, 
to the uh to to the 911 for help. What kind of sense is this? Fellas, man, we got to understand, understand, and understand that these women, a lot of these women do not give a damn about us. I hate to say it. You care more about these women than they ever care about you. These women only concerned about what you can do for them, what you can provide. And once they, and once it's over with, it's over with. You see what I'm saying? They don't care nothing about themselves and their children, man. You got to understand that. She left rich homie Quan sleep on the couch. Why would you leave your significant other sleep on the couch unless y'all done had an argument or something? You understand me? You supposed to have tried to wake him up right then. Then you would have understood that something was wrong. Let me call 911. But a lot of you hoes get upset and y'all be upset and you just say the hell with this person here and you go on about your business. Now I'm quite sure you done picked up your phone through the course of the night and checked all your alerts, done text and talked to whoever you need to talk to and got on your social media. But you have once went back and checked on your significant other. If rich homie Quan girlfriend would have got up and took the time out to go check back on him, she would have realized something wasn't right. But instead, she went the whole night not caring about his condition. You know it gets cold, you say, in the front room. So why would you leave him there all night and don't give him no cover? You woke up and it was time to take those children to school. You seen he ain't have no cover there and you just threw some cover on him. Did you throw the cover on him or did you open the cover up and just make sure he was covered up? You still haven't made that unclear yet. Then you take the children to school, come back, ain't no telling how long you was gone. You might have stopped the Starbucks, got you some coffee. You might have pulled over somewhere and got you some breakfast and all this here. You might have stopped to the house store and then you came back because you ain't think nothing was wrong with them. So ain't no telling how long you was gone. When you got back to the house, that's when you knew shit was real. Because guess what? That same cover that you threw to him, it was in the same spot that you threw it to him. Then you go over there to check on him. He's cold now. Yeah, he cold. He probably would been cold. Now you want to call 911 talking about his heart not beating? Of course not. He's cold. He had already passed away by that time. You seeing foam at his mouth? Of course. It's over with. Now you call it 911. Then you get this dumb heifer on 911 asking, do you got defibrillators? Niggas don't even have salt and sugar in their house at the same damn time. You asking them, do they have a defibrillator? <laughs> what kind of sense do that make? The 911 operator was at the nonchalant. She didn't have no sense of urgency or anything. No one seemed like they cared about his condition. Fellas, if we gonna die alone like Rich Homie Quan, we might well just live alone. We might well deal with these women when it's recreational time. Nothing else. Cause what was her, what was, what was the point of her being there? What was the point of her being there? Now everybody wanna sit up there and give all they love and care to her. But at the same time, man, rich homie Quan died alone. He had a girlfriend in house, but she, 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 she wasn't a real woman. I hate to say it, I gotta keep it real. She's not a real woman, man. I wouldn't give a damn what the circumstances may have been. If y'all had argued, you still supposed to make sure that man get up and go to bed, man. You still supposed to make sure he's all right. You were supposed to bring that cover to him and, and, and cover him up if he decided he wanted to sleep there. You didn't care nothing about him. That's why I'm trying to tell you fellas out there right now, man, you got to get somebody that cares about you. Not somebody that just spend your money 
and that look good you can take pictures with and put all on the Instagram and and, and, and want and, and and make everybody want her and all this crazy stuff, man. Just because she got a pretty face, small waist, and a fat ass, that don't mean nothing. I trade that in any day for somebody that got common sense, a sense of urgency, and that cares about me. Because if he, if Rich Homie Kwan would have had all that, nine times out of ten, his life probably could have got saved. Because they would have got the proper help at the proper time. That man probably was dead for at least 10, 12 hours. You got to think about this, man. Fellas, we got to think about this. We got to think about this. Everybody talking about she had something to do with it. No, she ain't have, I don't think she had nothing to do with it. I think that she, she the type of female that she got hella niggas after her. She got niggas all in her DM, telling she look good, sending her money, all this right here. So she really don't care nothing about Rich Homie Kwan like that. He gone today, she'll have another nigga tomorrow. She already got one in the holster. That's what, fellas, you got to understand, man. These women keep a spare tire. They keep a spare tire. I guarantee you later on that night, she was getting comfort, comfort by somebody else, another man. Guaranteed. Rich Homer Kwan might, have, might know about it. He might don't know about it. But a lot of these women, they keep somebody in a holster that they can talk to. It's always a nigga behind the scenes. Whether they show them or whether they don't show them, it's always a nigga behind the scenes. Now, from a woman that cares and loves about an individual, she going to be screaming hollering, doing all type of stuff to try to wake him up. She gonna try to give CPR and everything, whether she know how to do it or not. She's gonna attempt to do it. She's gonna be doing something until them people get there, man. She gonna be uh, cussing the people out for asking her do, they, do she have a defibrillator and everything. Because that's exactly what should have happened to the to the 911 operator. Rich Homer Kwan, uh, 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 Girlfriend was supposed to go off the handle on her. Man, I don't know what the fuck that is. Y'all need to hurry and get somebody down here to revive my husband. Don't be asking me all them crazy behind questions. You need to ask me where my address is at. That's what you need to be asking me. Nothing else. So you mean to tell me if she had a defibrillator, you want to start the ambulance? I'm trying to figure this out. Should all of us get on Amazon and order a defibrillator? What's really going on? Because I know over here in Florida, the police got to arrive before the ambulance. The ambulance cannot assist with anything until the police get here. Now, what that tell you? I don't know if the law is still the same way in Georgia. But at the end of the day, man, ain't too many people care about us, man. So, fellas, like I said, I understand that you want to have somebody that look good, that's thick, man, and all this right here, man. By the end of the day, you're going to need somebody that care about you. You're going to need somebody that's going to be with you until the end. You don't want to be like Rich Homie Kwan, man. You rich, famous, and all this here, and you still die alone. Why didn't his girl intervene any sooner than she did? Why? Did they get in an uh, argument the day before? What was Rich Homie's purpose of uh, sleeping on the couch instead of going to bed? Who was that individual in the background? Because that was another man. And he asked where somebody else was. It was unclear what the name was, but she said he's not here. Now, anytime you have somebody foaming at the mouth, that sounds like they was poison to me. Like I say, the autopsy hasn't came out publicly yet, so it's really unclear on actually how he died, but the foaming at the mouth is not good. Anytime you got foaming at the mouth, that is considered being poison. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. And I'd like to send my condolences out 
to the friends and family of Rich Homer Kwan. With that being said, if you smell some stink, that's me, Urban Gossip TV, because we the shit. <laughs> <laughs>